Hello, my friends. Uh, once again, I have another uh, video. This one's not going to be a funny one. This is just an informative one. I want to tell you about a guy uh, who has uh, been a, a phenomenal uh, asset in my life and uh, may have saved my life on a couple of occasions. Uh, uh, he doesn't realize, I don't think, how many people support him. Maybe he does. But there's one guy who really supports supports him and tries to keep up with uh, everything that he's doing. Um, you know, uh, I feel kind of I feel kind of bad that uh, that uh, the rest of the country, the other talk show hosts, have um, chosen to ignore you or pretend that you don't exist, and uh, that's just not true. Uh, I wish I had a, a script ready for you or something like that, but I just want to thank you, Michael Savage. I mean, your work on uh, your, the, the, your uh, uh, explanations on nutrition and uh, uh, vitamins, minerals, f uh, uh, food, uh, politics, of course, uh, uh, your insights, your the, the sagacious, uh, you, you, you know, when I turn on those other uh, uh, channels, there's, there's a one guy where uh, all the girls call in there, Oh, you're so cute! It's like there's, there's no substance there at all. And then the other one, Mega Diddle, Mega Diddle, Mega, mega Diddle. Mega Diddle? Yeah, fellow Diddle head. Uh, listen, let me tell you something. 30 years ago, if you'd have called me some diddle head, we're going to fight. I don't know what that means, but it sounds stupid. Uh, I mean, so what, what would we, uh, uh, savage people, what would they call themselves? Uh, sav 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 savageites? Savants? <laughs> I'm sure that one's been said before. Anyways, thank you, Michael Savage. You have, uh, I think, extended my life. Uh, extended my life on uh, some, some some of the things that you've uh, told me about. I research. I research everything. I, I, I buy more books because of you than than anything. And the other day, some guy called in, some kid, and that must be me. Be very heart wrenching. What what what? When a young man calls in and he says, uh, "Listen, I will quit my job and I'll come to you and I'll work for you for nothing and." do this and the guy's like 18 be, between 18 and 23 years old and uh and uh you know i th that's just got to touch it because listen michael a lot of us feel the same way They're more than can be counted you know more than th than can be counted especially these guys which i'm a part of and let's see uh well that's that's about it. I hope you you stay on the uh, air uh, for uh, many years to come, and um, you know let's uh, plant a cedar tree out here so when it's full grown we can build your coffin out of it <laughs> after it matures in another hundred years. <laughs> uh, I forget who said that. That was probably a quote I heard from you on some subject and that's the thing that free association type thinking they, no, nobody's got that yesterday Rush Limbaugh one minute of dead air after he uh, 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 ribbed Donald Trump for all the issues that Rush Limbaugh has been proposing all uh, for, for the past who knows how long but now that Donald Trump uh, 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 proposes these issues Oh, they're all against Donald Trump. And I don't know why these uh, so-called, these spotlight conservatives uh, all of a sudden turn on Donald Trump because it just, something doesn't seem right about that. Remember, Michael? They may be smart, but they're not that clever. <laughs> I know you remember that. Okay. That's enough. Um... 
Oh, oh, listen, some of your books I had, this is what I wanted to say, some of your books I had to, uh, Pembleton, Oregon, I had to uh, get, go to, uh, well, not go to, but send to the mail and send the book back to them, the books, uh, you know, in the Fiji Islands, um, and uh, all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, or another library I had to send the book back. Some of these books that you've written in the past on the, you uh, um, Ethnos, uh, ethnobiology, uh, uh, they're very, very involved. So um, I, if any of you people uh, want well, 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 to learn about that kind of stuff, herbs and uh, remedies in different peoples, especially in the Pacific Islands, uh, uh, Michael Savage has a, uh, well, you can visit England and, and see the exhibit that's uh, that's there, uh, but uh, Mike can't. So, anyways, Mike, oh, you know, and when you talk about your dad, I love that when he te teaches you about people and the guy with the bad clothes and then the, the you know, the difference between the, 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 the sulfur to clean the antiques. My mother was into antiques, but that reminds me of my dad. My dad was the first guy in the whaling city to hire a black man. And he did, and, and, and he told me, he says, listen, you remember this for as long as you live. That man has more ambition and skill than half the fleet out there. It's them ignorant SOBs that just don't know it. They're just too biased to have an open mind. And that stuck with me forever. Just like uh, you, you know, it's it's it, it sticks. Uh, you know, th certain things stick with you. And I love this when you bring this stuff. It's 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 such a wide wide variety of a program. It's. I I understand that other caller when he said, "What have we, What's gonna happen when you go away? What are we gonna do with you if you go away? Like, what's gonna happen? We need somebody to. I'll, I'll train under you. I want to learn how. Yeah, I want to learn the now. You know how to be, how to have an analytical mind. I want that. You know, and and that analytical mind. You know, it it, it, it uh, You know, it comes with work." takes a lot of work and of course the common sense oh and the and well, one more thing Michael about your mom you used to get frustrated when um, she wouldn't an answer she'd say you'd ask her a question about this or that and she'd say I don't know but let me tell you something Mike a lot of us got it you would get uh, you would want her to elaborate on on, on the answer but it, it wouldn't it, it, uh, it, it there was no need for it because a lot of us grew up in the same families you could tell by the intonation of her, I don't know, uh, or I don't know, or uh, uh, I don't know. You know, the, you could tell by the intonation that there was a volume behind it. Okay, Mike, I love you, man. You stay strong, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.